Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this video, we will understand what is subnetting. Okay. So while configuring your IP addresses manually, you must have seen that it asks for subnet mask, right? So that is where you are using the concept of subnetting in daily life. Okay. So let's start with understanding why do we need submit subnetting. So let's assume we have a network. okay and this network has network id of let's say 200.1.1.0 okay now as this is class c network right you know this this first octet is 200 so it comes under c range okay so c range is from 192 to 223 right okay so this comes under class C class C so now it has we know that it has 2 to the power 8 2 to the power 8 minus 2 hosts right maximum okay these many host IDs we have right so now let's say as a service provider I need to assign let's let's assume a case that I am a service internet service provider okay I have two clients client 1 and client 2 and both want to have a network okay they want to configure a network where client 2 have 120 hosts okay and similarly client C2 have 122 hosts okay so these have uh, client C1 has 121 host and client C2 has 122 right so this ISP has an option that he can assign two network two different network IDs to these two clients right but there will be a wastage of host IDs because this class C network has capacity to hold to 56 minus 2 host IDs right host IDs but this client needs only 120 right so remaining more than half will be wasted so there is a concept that is subnetting is introduced here so what we will do we will divide the same network into two sub networks okay so how do we do this let's see here so here we have network id as 200.1.1.0 okay so as this is class C so 200.1.1 .1 will be network ID itself then in host ID I'll take first bit as subnet ID okay and then remaining will be host IDs fine okay so this first bit I'll use as subnet ID right so now we will have one subnet as 200.1.1.0 that is 0 and then we have here 7 bits okay similarly other subnet will be 200.1.1.1 and 7 bits remaining right so here I am using 0 and using 1 as subnet ID right and now the question is how it how it is identified that which I mean which bit has to be taken as subnet ID so for that we have been given subnet mask okay so let write it let's write it down so we have been given subnet mask and that will be network id nid plus or nid dot right so we write it as network id concatenated with subnet id as as all ones 
and host id as all zeros so for this network what will be the subnet id i mean this subnetting what will be the subnet id we will have i mean subnet mask we will have network id that is 200.1.1. the first bit as we are taking as subnet id so, sub, so subnet id will be 1 and then all zeros right so this will be 200 dot i mean i have written this as decimal and this is as binary right so i'll write it as bin decimal i'll write it as decimal so it will be 1.1.128 1 right so i'll write it as so this will be our subnet mask now if you have followed my first lecture on ip addressing or classful network system you must have seen that when we divide the whole range of ip addresses in class we lose two host ids right so here also we are doing the same thing so we have divided this whole network into two sub networks so in this case also we will lose two host ids okay so so for example for this this subnet we will not use for the remaining places zeros so it will be like uh, 200.1.1.0 uh, right so this will not be used and again the last one will also be not uh, will also we will not use so it will be 200.1.1 dot uh, this will be zero and all ones so it will be 127 127 okay so this we will not be using right so these two will not be used in case of this subnet similarly for this subnet we will not use two right which one 200.1.1 128 and 200.1.1.255 right so you can see that the two ip addresses which we already excluded in classful network that is first one which is all zeros right and this is last one which is all ones in host id so these were already excluded in case of classful architecture right so in between also we are excluding the subnet boundaries right this one and this one so in this case we are losing four ip addresses now the last thing to mention is that it's not always necessary that we divide a given network into equal sized subnetwork right so like earlier example we take we had taken the clients with almost similar requirement of 120 and 122 hosts right so these were almost similar requirement right but we may also have 120 plus 60 plus 60 right so here it's not necessary that we divide network in similar sized sub network so let's say this is our network now what we can do is we divide we can divide it into equal size by if it is class c so let's say this octet this octet this octet and here i fix it as zero then this thing okay similarly here 200.1.1 and then i fix it first one as one right and then we have variables okay now we can do what we can do here is we this half this is first half this is second half now we can divide this second half in two parts again okay so this is further divided so for that what we will do it's very simple right as to divide in two parts we fix this first bit okay so here the first bit is fixed i mean first bit is like we chosen this first bit as subnet id okay so this is 0 1 now to divide this further what we can do we can fix this bit okay so here let's say if this is 0 
and this is fixed now so here we can have for last octet 200.1.1 and for last octet we can have this one and one which is subnet id and then we have remaining bits so that's how we can divide subnets in unequal sizes right okay so that's all for the this lecture uh, we have covered the basics of subnet masking and in next lecture we will be solving problems over it so i hope you have already subscribed to this 45 days preparation sprint on tectrid.com so if if not must subscribe for this sprint okay for this remaining 45 days and please subscribe to our youtube channel and like our facebook page to appreciate us so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching